What's up everybody, this is Ryan from Counts Customs. I wanna to talk to you about our 2022 project, just ironically it was a 2022 Bronco. But uh, what we did to it is we added fiberglass quarters that were all flared out, fiberglass front fenders also all flared out, custom hood and a gang of touches, not to mention of course custom paint. This is us fitting the hood. Uh, the kit was fantastic, there's always fitting. You know, you definitely have to fit everything. Don't just get everything out of a box, send it off to a paint shop and expect it to fit on there. Really nice kit though, like the styling points on this kit with uh, sometimes with flared kits they don't look quite right and the radiuses and the wheel wells aren't the way they're supposed to be. They get a little oblong instead of uh, arched and this kit was exceptional. The guys in the body shop, Zach Cannon, Walter and uh, uh, Dylan, they did a masterful job of making this aftermarket fiberglass kit fit just as good if not better than a factory. So hats off to them. Here we got it. all the body work is done and here we've got it all based out, cleared and prepped. Shaky, shaky. The owner of this truck is actually our uh, in-house cut and polish technician, if you will. He's our buffer. His wife was in the military. They were very, very patriotic. Doing a few touch-ups. We painted it, put it on the road. He drove it for a little while. So there's some stuff we needed to fix on it before we put graphics on it. So we spray a white sealer, trusty Iwata LPH 400. That really is one of my favorite guns. At this point, the jams on the truck have already been sprayed. So when I open that back door and spray what looks like I'm spraying in the jam, it's actually the extension for the flare. So the jams are all completely taped off on this. The extension has been uh, bonded to the door, seam sealed, nice clean seam. And I'm actually just getting the inside of that pod. So anyone screaming, oh, you didn't R&I it. Stop, stop with that, please stop. Stop it, get some help. The truck was built to be patriotic. You know, that's that was a premise, everything around it. Awesome yellow Bronco with as much patriotism as we could throw at it without it being, you know, a billboard. Got all the graphics on it, nice ghosted in. It wasn't too ghosted, it was a subtle American flag. Now one of the stripes and the stars on there. The scallops are done with a uh, ice pearl white. So it was super, super sparkly in the sun. The base for the truck was the stock pearl yellow. The flag with the stars and the, the stripes, that was opaque. So when you got it in the sun, the thing had a lot of depth without any shadow. Lower this stuff. I know that this is only 23 and a half inches. I knew this was taller. And then um, this is the hole that I have, you know, as far as the grid goes. I'm gonna try to figure out something else, just maybe some slashes. I, I don't know. Okay. She is all done. And of course, being the, you know, a buffer owns this truck, this thing was glass. Really happy with that thing. That truck came out so nice. We did nice subtle touches, uh, patriotic touches. The pinstriping was uh, red and blue around, obviously, a, a white scallop. Now uh, you've got the, uh, the subtle American flag in the background, the Bronco lettering on the front, red, white, and blue. The rings on the wheels were uh, uh, candy apple red over the raw aluminum, blue centers, and we left the faces, the natural blonde, but they were Cerakoted. All this stuff on the wheels, it's all been Cerakoted with a, either the clear or a mixture of Brian sauce. Can't say enough for the Cerakote, that stuff really does hold up. Such a fantastic product. Truck came out great. It was very well received at SEMA. It was right up there with uh, our usual builds. Cool interior. The company, Cover King, that had it in the booth, they do interiors and soft tops and stuff like that. So that's why he had different interior skins on the seats. He usually rolls them stock. But yeah, that's our uh, 2022 Bronco. Uh, that's our SEMA project. Hope you guys enjoy.
Hi, my name is Walter. I'm the polisher at Counts Customs. Here's my 2022 Freedom Bronco by Counts Customs. Here's my first SEMA build. I was asked by Cover King if I was interested in taking my Bronco to SEMA, and I said, yeah. The main sponsors, we got Advanced Fiberglass with the body kits, the induction hood, the five inch fender flares. Then we got Raceline 17 inch wheels with the 37 inch Mickey Thompson tires. Front bumper, rear bumper, rock rails, all the skid plates on the car, trailing arms, all from uh, Metal Cloak. The vehicle from Metal Cloak is all fully protected now. We got Alpha Rex headlights on it. We got the Fabtech four inch lift kit on it. We have the kicker stereo done by uh, Ghetto Bob at our very own Counts Customs. I was featured in the cover magazine for Bronco Driver. I wanted a patriotic theme. Ryan Evans from Counts decided to take it one step further. The Bronco was built for my wife. She's a disabled army veteran. Because it became a SEMA build and became famous with all the sponsors, we now have her very own Bronco. Bronco Badlands Edition. This will be featured in a Quake LED booth in SEMA 2023 this year. You'll probably notice it's got a big snore sticker on it. That's the Southern Nevada Off-Road Recovery. I started volunteering, doing off-road recovery for people that get stuck or break down on off-road trails. I started with beginner trails of Jeeps. And then beginner trails became into intermediate and then experienced level eight, level nine trails. And now I take it to competitions. We go to events like King of the Hammers and the very popular one in Utah is United by Bronco. That's where everybody can test out the Broncos to its full stress of the vehicle. So right now we're airing down for the trail. Give you a much comfortable ride on the trail. Because 40 piece size would be a little stiff on dirt roads. So some people would drop down to 20 PSI. I like to go down to 15 PSI. But then again, I like to fly on the road. So I don't like to feel the road. Rocks can be uncomfortable. So SEMA last year was more than I imagined. I just expected to show up, I'm at Bronco there for a week, but instead while I was at SEMA, I had many vendors, companies come up to me that all wanted to be part of the Freedom Bronco build. So this year, not only am I taking my wife's Bronco, but I'm taking three other Broncos. So in total, be four Broncos going to SEMA. I'd like to thank Counts Customs, Danny Coker, Ryan Evans, and Zach, and all my sponsors for this crazy build. If you're ever in Vegas, you can count Freedom Bronco on a Sin City Broncos tour, any off-road trail, or straight up come down to Counts Customs and check it out in the parking lot. Hey everybody, Danny Coker here, AKA The Count. I wanna thank you all for checking out our Counts Customs Freedom Bronco build. It was just one of the amazing things that we took part in at SEMA last year. Now you all know that we support our country's troops here and to have a Counts Customs ride completed for a disabled veteran is truly a special thing. From the patriotic paint design, to the full team effort, it's so amazing to see what my crew can do here because absolutely anything is possible at Counts Customs. Now this year at SEMA, we've got more Fords coming your way. Some new and some really classic ones, but you'd never know because we make this thing look as good as the day it came off of the assembly line 70 years ago. So stay tuned right here our YouTube channel for more amazing SEMA footage. It's coming at you right here from Counts Customs in Las Vegas. SEMA 2023. We'll see you real soon.